Sir Tim Smith is an imaginative, dynamic, and persuasive fellow whose vision and energy have transformed a devastated China clay quarry in rural Cornwall into an enormous educational theme park dedicated to exploring the complete dependence of human beings on plants. Because it draws hundreds of thousands of visitors, the project is also a powerful demonstration of the capacity of art, entertainment, and education to rejuvenate the economy of what was once a thoroughly depressed area. Well, I'm a capitalist. I, 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 I believe in the clubbing together of capital to create wider benefit and profit. And I hate the way the environment movement and a lot of political parties have not understood the nature of our civilization and the need to create wealth. Because the, the very simple assumption has been made, which is not necessary, which is that corporate activity by definition means you have to exact a price from the environment. Eden, Eden may well have been the product of my um, fevered imagination at one point, but the, the Eden you see today is, is actually the product of uh, many, many people. And what we are today is different. To, when we began, it was basically a botanic, a botanic institution with a difference. If you like, I, I always used to say we were the world's first rock and roll scientific foundation. A bit glib, but it, it kind of was smiley to say it that way. I think what I was really trying to say was that my lesson of Heligan was that if you tell stories and you make the world, uh, the world of plants come to life and you use a language that, you know, the man on the Clapham omnibus would understand, you can get a much wider audience and people actually buying into what you wanted to do. And I think it was only through building Eden and understanding the power of capital. So, for example, we're very political here. We, um, we believe in local sourcing and we're draconian in terms of the way we insist on it. We have 2,400 suppliers, a huge majority of those, over 80% of them are, you know, from here in Cornwall. Because we realize that, that, it's like that mafia saying, if people around you make money, you'll live a long and happy life. And that's a trite way of putting it, that actually, if you want to be part of a community, demonstrate you're part of that community. And if you have companies that uh, ser serve you, you could put your brand, Eden, at their service. And the best way you can help companies in a rural environment, and this goes back to my capitalist thinking, is the traditional good business thing is to buy just on time, to order just when you need it. You know, it's good, good business. Short-term contracts, keep them competitive, keep them lean and mean. You can't build a business as a small business a long way from London if that is the way your contracts are done. How on earth are you going to be able to grow your business? Because if you're always doing just-in-time orders and short-term contracts, how are you going to persuade a bank to lend you the money over the medium term to be able to make you grow? Those sort of things are quite self-evident. There's a, a, a body of work which would demonstrate how you could physically transform a space. I think um, my, the biggest tip I ever give people is to believe a bit in magic. As you know, I believe in Tinkerbell theory. I said that to you before. And uh, Tinkerbell, of course, is the um, fairy from Peter Pan that can only be seen if everybody believes in her. And I think wherever you are, if you build something magic, um, not only will people come, but it actually inspires other people to do their stuff. Sir Tim Smith, businessman, artist, and practical visionary. If you enjoyed this interview, with its emphasis on the living, natural world, you may want to look at our conversation with Diana Beresford Kroger about trees, or our interview with Dr. Bridges Stutchbury about birds. For The Green Interview, I'm Silver Donald Cameron. See you next time.